Uh, hello YouTube, it's me, Mr. Brian Person. Can I do no hands? Can I? Okay, let's try it. Yes. I'm not going to do that again, this is a really bumpy road. But anyway, the subject for today is... This moped. It's the only one I've owned. So I can only speak on behalf of this one. But... I think this one is different from a lot of ones, because it was left up. It was just kind of put aside. One of the previous owners, my uncle said he knew and was uh, scared to drive it. So it sat a lot, for most of its life, outside. Which is why the mileage is so low, I've seen them. Um, I've seen mopeds like this with about twice that mileage. About 16,000. And this one's only got 844. And the reason I'm making this video is is in recent times it started to show its age it's 14 this year and uh, the electrics and the suspension and the fairings are really starting to show it the engine although it is missing a flange for one of the bolts on the cylinder for the exhaust it runs fine I've never had a problem with it tops out at about 43 I nearly got 50 going down a hill once when I was tucked down that was pretty scary. But uh, the fork seals are gone on the front, but I don't think they're leaking. And if they have leaked, well, they've always been like that because I haven't noticed a difference. It's the, the rear shock that a few days ago I noticed had leaked out basically all its fluid. Because I saw some, uh, some damp kind of on the, uh, the case for the belt around there I thought oh it's probably just a bit of rain and the next day it was still there and then the next day it was still there again and the rear suspension hasn't been the same it's really fucking hard because there's, there's a spring around the shock so that's kind of holding it all together so I'm just going off a spring now and you can't really hear it while the engine is going but if I kill the engine up here once I get kind of moving I bounce up and down you can hear it this weird kind of squeaking I don't know, it's probably not coming up on a, on a little shitty drift microphone, but it does sound a bit off. But this bike isn't going to be used for much longer anyway, I've got the pulse coming soon. Thankfully the house is sold officially. We've bought another house, so it'll be another three months or so before we actually move in there because there's a lot of fucking, the usual kind of paperwork to sort out. I'm not going to go down there, or am I? Actually, no, the hill up here. I found a hill up here a while ago because I haven't been up here in weeks. And uh, I want to go up on the hill because the last time I was up there I didn't have the camera. It's quite wet today though. I picked one of the worst days to fucking drive. There's going to be like no view but I'm going to go up there anyway. There's one day I went up this hill and there was a fucking brilliant view. But there's a lot of fog and shit today, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I can't put the centre stand down, so I'm just going to lean on this rock. Stay there. So there is a bit of a view, but those kind of things standing up, those are the windmills. You can't even see the top of them with the, the mist. That's the track I should have gone up. Put the visor down, keep the wind noise down. I can't see with the visor down though. Okay. That that took that took more out of me than I thought it would. On a clear day you can see right across the bay and right over to Clare and the mountains. But it's shit today. Anyway, I'm going to uh, just do a quick teleport over to the entrance to those. I need to get the bike though. I'll teleport down to the bike and I'll teleport over. Might as well. Anyway, I'll see you over there. I'll just wipe the camera a bit. So, uh, I've teleported over. 
and the gates are open but there doesn't seem to be much movement so I'm going to I think I'm going to drive in and uh, I'm not sure should I bother covering my plate or not I don't think so uh, there's a car behind me it's a post van that's fine I'll see how far I get in before I get told to fuck off No entry. What's the worst that can happen? They prosecute me in a court of law? <laughs> I am putting this on the internet though. Well, I suppose if I'm not breaking anything, I mean, I'm not going to get off the bike. I probably won't stay long either. I mean, this road's pretty fucking shit. Floating roads. Well, they sound fun. Why would you say caution? Floating roads sound fucking brilliant. Well, the shock wasn't dead before, it's dead now. This would be better on a clear day, but I think the, the sort of the, the mist kind of disguises me. Okay. Okay, that's pretty fucking scary. Being right up beside it. There's no one following me, which is nice. Okay, that's cool. And see, I don't know why people complain about these things. Because, yeah, they're fucking, they're big. But to be honest, they're really cool looking, in my opinion. And like, it's, r people, oh, my dad is saying, oh, they're probably really noisy. I'm sorry, I'm right beside it and I can't hear a thing. But I suppose if it is sunny, and the sun is shining right behind it, and it's going through your window, it might, like, you might get like, flashes. Anyway, I don't know if there are people over there, because there seems to be like, kind of a power station looking thing. I'm gonna ride up behind it. Actually, I'm, I, I don't know, should I walk around it? Because if someone's looking at me enough, I'm just riding the moped around. Might look as bad, I mean, they might think I'm trying to get in from walking around it. They are making a bit of noise. But like, you have to be right up beside them to hear them. That is trippy as shit though, I mean I think it's gonna hit me. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here before I get in trouble. Adios!